welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. And if you love home decorating and you love decorating your home with style on a budget, then this is a channel for you. I love to decorate my home using things that I have found thrifting and upcycling them. I love to do DIYs. I love to clearance shop. I love to go look at your high-end fashion stores, your fashion home stores, like Our House, Restoration Hardware, High Fashion Home, CB2, Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn. I love to go perusing those sites, looking for inspiration, finding things that I would love to have, and then I love to go out thrifting to try to get the luxe look for less. And that is how I save money decorating in my home. So, if you love those types of things as well and you want to save money then this is the channel for you and so by the end of the video if you have not yet subscribed i would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle my style family so guys you guys know i am struggling to get over a cold as soon as i think i'm over it it comes back and <laughs> it's making me so mad. I wanna get over this cold and get back to seeing my little grandbabies. I can't see my new little grandbabies until I have this cold out of my body. I've been taking emergence, I think it's emergence C. I've been popping zinc pills. I've been popping vitamin C. I've been drinking hot tea, hot tea with honey, hot toddies. You name it, your girl's been doing it. Nothing seems to work. So leave me a comment down below let me know if you have some suggestions to help me get rid of this cold i need it gone asap i'm over it i'm tired of having this cold so leave me some comments down below let me know did your grandma have like an old-fashioned remedy for getting rid of colds if so i'd love to know leave me a comment down below and thank you guys so much for all your kind words <laughs> and um, prayers for a speedy recovery. Keep sending them because your girl is still on the mend. So again, leave me a comment down below. <clears throat> With that said, in today's video, we are going to finish out decorating my living room. So a few weeks ago, I showed you guys how I blacked out my living room for fall. And what that means is that I am just going to be using black to decorate for fall. I love decorating in black and white, <laughs> as you can see. And I decorate in black and white in my home year round. And what I do for the seasons is to bring in a little bit of color, but not too much. So I accent with green. And for fall this year, we're using like those muted tones of green. And I also brought in those burgundy colors, your plum colored. You can see those a floral stems back there. I got those stems from Amazon that we're going to be using for fall. So I just bring in small little hints of color, not a lot, I'm not a big color person. But for the living room, I wanna bring in some more warmth. We've blacked out the living room, now it's time to bring in that warmth. And I wanna bring in the warmth using texture and my gold and brassy accents. So instead of going out and buying all new things, I'm not doing that, we're using what we have. This year, I told you guys, we're all about using what we have, repurpose, reuse. If it's not the right color, we spray paint it. That's what we're all about. So, I went on the hunt and scoured my home for some items that we could use to try to bring a little bit of warmth into my family room. So let me show you some of those things right now. This pumpkin that I brought out, so I said I wasn't gonna use pumpkins, but we're all about using what we have. And I picked this up a few years ago, never have used it. <laughs> so I thought, okay, let's go ahead and bring it out because it is gold. I have this piece that I picked up from Kroger a long time ago. I don't even know, five, six, seven years ago. Um, I don't like this part. So I think I'm gonna paint that black. And then I have this. Um, little thing that I picked up from the at-home store several years ago. 
you can see whoops it's discolored and so i thought okay spray paint is your best friend let's spray paint it gold also i want to bring in these candlesticks that we picked up from ross i don't know three or four years ago or maybe two or three years ago i don't remember but those are the gold items that I have so far. Oh, I also have these that I want to try to incorporate. I recently got these from Amazon. The gold is a little bright for me. Um, you see how this is more of a burnished type color? This is more of a coppery color, so. I don't know how well it's going to do. I'm, I thought about spray painting it, but I don't know how it would turn out. And I don't know, we might be able to just use them as they are. So yeah, those are some things we're gonna be playing around with today. But before we start playing around with decorating, I am going to spray paint this and then I'll be right back. All right, so I found a few more things for us to use. I remember I had this vase that we DIY'd, upcycled. It was from Z Gallery. It was purple, spray painted it gold last year or the year before, I believe, and I used it. So I'm gonna try to incorporate this. And also I um, found these smaller candle sticks that go more with our theme. If you can see the colors of gold all match Whereas this color of gold is just too shiny. I don't know what I can do to not make this look so shiny. Hmm. I'll have to look up something online to see. But anyway, these are the pieces we're gonna be working with and let me show you the living room. All right, so this is how we left the living room after we blacked it out and this is how it's still looking. And now I want to bring in some warmth for fall. Don't mind my computer, <laughs> that's my editing computer. Um, but yeah, so this is how it looks, all blacked out. It's how this area looks. So remember these new paintings, right, canvas, uh, they're not prints, but the canvas paintings I got from Ashley Furniture. I still absolutely love them. I think they look very nice here. So you see how we have the warm tones here with the brass lamps and then the warm tones of brass around the canvas prints. I want to continue that. So I want to bring in some warm brassy tones in the living room. So I think I want to add something here to the coffee table. I want to add something over here on the fireplace mantle. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in warmth for fall and we're going to do it using those items over there. So if you want to see how the living room is going to turn out, make sure you keep watching again don't mind my computer that's my editing computer but yeah let's get started all right so into in addition to those things again i said i want to bring in some texture and remember these pillows that we picked up from amazon a few weeks ago i'm going to be bringing these in we have two of those and i want to bring in a new throw and of course it's going to be black and when i was out shopping with my boyfriend um for our anniversary last week, and this has a snag in it already, darn it. Hopefully we can fix that. But anyway, I saw this while I was out. It's from Vince Camuto. It was $24.99. And even though it's black, it has a little bit of gray in it. And I thought it would look, which way am I going? Perfect with the couch. So we're going to incorporate this as well. And it also has texture that we're going to bring in. So I thought this would be really, really nice. So those are the items we are going to be using. 
to finish decorating my living room for fall. So if you wanna see how it's gonna turn out, make sure you keep watching. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Now let's get started. All right, so here's how our little container turned out after a good coat of spray paint. So love it. And then I also brought out this candle because it's kind of gold and goes with the theme, I think. So we're gonna bring that out as well, just in case. And we're just gonna play around. As uh, Sierra's song says, that's how we roll. We roll by putting things together, seeing if we like them, we don't like them, then we change it and <laughs> step back, look at it, see if we like it. And we continue to do that and until we get the look we want and that's how we roll. So let's go. All right, we're gonna start over here on the credenza first and I'm debating. So I love these stems from a floral. We got them, I wanna say a couple of years ago. This is how they look. So I'm gonna keep them here. My dilemma is, do I keep this face or do I change it out? So I'm gonna play around with a few different vases. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so I'm gonna take everything off and give the credenza a good wipe down. And we're just gonna use some Mrs. Meyers acorn spice because it's an all-purpose cleaner and it smells really, really nice. candle warmer here and I think I'm can you guys see it's very I always have struggle with the lighting in here so this is where we are this face that I picked up um, a month or so ago. I love the design. It's got the gold inside. So I have this that could be an option. And we're gonna take our stems and just plop them down in here and see how we like it. What do you think? How does that look? Let's step back and look. You can't really see the gold because of the stems, but I like the texture and the contrast of the vase. Hmm. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. All right, so this is look one. I think this little guy is throwing it off because he's silver. So I think I'm going to have to move him. 
don't think he's plugged in. Or maybe he is. Never mind. I don't want to go through all the trouble of unplugging him. Just pretend he's not there. <laughs> and we'll continue. All right, so there's one option, but I have this piece here. It came from Home Goods, so let's switch it out and use it as a base and see what we think. Okay, grab our stems and our vase, and we'll bring this one in. This one's a little more substantial in size. I do like that. So let's stick these down in here. Again, see how we like it. Hmm. I don't know guys, I think I might like this look. Let's take a closer look. All right, so this is how it's looking. And I think I like it a lot better than the other vase because it is larger in size. And if I want, I could take, whoops, as you can tell, it's metal. <laughs> I could take this, set it here on the side. All right, let's grab one of our gold pieces. Um, let's try the pumpkin and this piece. Okay, so let's try the pumpkin first. Look how cute he is. So I could set him here along with the lid. Or I could set him on this side with the owl. I don't know. Kind of like him with the owl. All right, so this is how it's looking with a little pumpkin over here by the owl. I like that. And I think I need something here. Let's try those candle holders. Let's go get those. I think I'm gonna try these. And even those, I, I don't think these will work. We're gonna try these too. All right. So let's try these two first. How does that look? Does it look too cluttered? Is less more? Hmm, let's add some candlesticks. These will just be for display purposes only, not to be lit. Just to see how it looks. I think it looks better with candles in it. Uh, let's step back and what do we think? How does that look? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure that I like it. So let's try the other. Let's little candle holders and see what we think. See, this is not going to go with that. I can already tell. But maybe we need the contrast. What do you think? Different. Is it too different? Hmm. Let me know your thoughts. Is this too much of a clash between
between this brushed uh, brass and this coppery color. I don't know. I kind of like it. And then again, I kind of don't. But let's leave this for now. And then we're going to change out these two pillows. All right. So let's take these back. Again, these are the pillows we're going to be working with, and I'm going to switch this one out. And we're going to use this here as an accent pillow for some texture, and then we're also going to add it on this side and as you can see I have this like ostrich print throw over here as well for some texture and yeah since we're blacking out the living room I think that looks good let's take a closer look all right so this is how the area is looking on this side I like it uh, again, still not sure about these candlesticks, but I don't know. We'll leave them there. They might grow on me. We'll see. Leave me a comment down below, but let me know what you think of this little vignette we created, this little sitting area. I like it so far. So let's turn our attention to the coffee table. All right, so this is how the coffee table looked when we last left off. And I wanna bring some warmth to this area as well. Do I leave the florals or do I change them? So that is the dilemma here. And I'm gonna try switching out the florals to see what we think. So let's do that. All right, so I'm going to be changing out the vase as well. And then, do you remember these really pretty red maple stems that I have? I got from Amazon. I think these would be really pretty in the gold vase. So we're going to switch them completely out. I'm gonna leave a little match cloche though, because we're gonna, you know, have a candle here. But let's go ahead and add in these really pretty leaves. Again, these came from Amazon and they're from Vickerman. I like the touch of burgundy that it brings in. And then we're also gonna add this little candle as well for a touch of warmth. But it might be overkill because <clears throat> we already have this candle. So we could take this candle away and just have that one. Let's take a closer look. I changed, I took the cover off this book earlier when I was blacking it out, but I want to bring in more of the gold tone. So I think I'm going to add the cover back on. All right, let's add the cover back on this book. And this book also came from Amazon, in case you're interested. It has some really nice photos in here just look at that so so nice so I might leave this open as well on the coffee table so this is a really nice page so this is how it would look let's see
so that's how it looked with the book open and then this is how it looks with the book closed I do like the gold and the contrast of how these two play against each other and I need to wipe down the table some more um, but I think I like it better with the book open. I could bring back in our other candle. Because I do like the smell of this candle. And let me wipe the table down. All right, that's better. The table has a lot of scratches, so <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get, but I do like it. So, I do I wanna keep the book closed and have it set up this way or the other way? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one you like best. Do you like the book open? with the plant or the book closed and the larger candle. Hmm. Let's see how it looks from this angle. Um, hmm. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. I think I'm gonna leave it with the book open for a while and then change it and flip it back to this look. That way I can have both looks, but leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would do. All right, now we're going to bring in our throw for some more add it texture to the space and this is an oversized throw so it is quite long which is nice we'll add that and then we'll bring back our pillow Yeah, I'm really liking how the space is looking. We'll tuck this behind our couch, make it nice and neat. And yeah, let me show you the final fall look. So this is how our fall living room has turned out. We added in the warm gold brassy color to warm up the space. And now even though the living room was blacked out, you can see the warmth that the gold brings in as well as by adding these really pretty willow leaves. So, so pretty. I will leave these linked in my description box down below. Again, they are from Amazon, they're from Vickerman. They are real, and I wanted to bring in some organic foliage as well. And I think this looks so, so nice. And look how well it complements our faux stems from a floral. Very, very nice. I did also add the brass candlesticks to the fireplace as you saw. So it brings in the touch of brass there. So we have brass here, here, and here. 
And I think that is just enough to warm up the space as well. In the evening, we have the candles that can be turned on. Those are full candles, so which is really nice. You don't have to worry about walking away and leaving them unattended because they're just battery operated candles. But this is the look, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my fall living room refresh. I absolutely love it and I hope you do as well. So if you enjoy today's video and it has inspired you in your fall decorating, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. The more you like my video and the more you comment, YouTube will also push it out to more viewers so they can get some fall decorating inspiration as well if they also love decorating using black. I love how this came together. Absolutely love it. And then remember our arrangement that we did here. So look how nicely everything goes together for fall. Absolutely love it. So let me comment down below again if you have not yet subscribed i would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell become a member of the i style my style family i have lots of fall decorating content still coming up that you don't want to miss so with that my friends let's take one last look and i hope to see you in the next one Thank you.